Well, last week we got the irons for these rockers pretty much straightened out. I did get the wood roughs on to fit these, but I need to do the final fitting. I am a fan of using a horseshoer's rasp. So I take that and kind of knock off the high spots and get this fitted down into the iron. And it'll be a little bit of a challenge to get two irons that are different to look the same. When I look down the sides of these two pieces of wood that sit on the rockers, it looks like this curve maybe comes down to with an inch and a quarter of the bottom. And it seems to be kind of in that area judging for this rotted wood. So inch and three quarter, I'm going to come down a half inch for this round over on the top of these rocker woods. Well, this is inch and three quarter, and somewhere in here we have to make a transition down to this narrower tip. And I'm not quite sure where it is. This flat portion is offset from where the brace goes. I'm thinking maybe it might start back here. I'm going to put those braces on and just see how they set on this angle. So eyeballing, it looks like they go down to the center. I'm going to lay a board across the top. Yep, it's quite a bit here. So judging from how these have to set, this angle on the iron is different than what's on the wood. So this tells me this angle here needs to start back here to match this wood here and to take this hump out to make this a gradual transition from this inch and three quarter down to about three quarter. We've got to start back here somewhere to accommodate this brace iron.
I don't want to drop this at this point any further than I have to. That's about 3 sixteenths of an inch. I'm going to drop this down about that 3 sixteenths. Make that match this angle and then go ahead and bring this up to this front tip here. So I think we headed in the right direction. A little more adjusting to do this on here. This one is pretty close. And I'll fine tune that as I work this over with the rasp. But I think we're gonna be right there in the ballpark. Well, this is the front portion of the wood that sets inside the rocker. This is the left side, this is the right side. And you can notice how the contouring starts right about in this area on both of these. We're flat through here, but we start to shape off round corners until we come down to the portion where the center bolt actually bolts through the leather thorough braces. It's the same on both sides. Well, what's troubling about this is in the tire rub irons. Well, this is a rub iron that's set on the left rocker and set on the wood like so. This is a bolt that goes through the iron rocker and this was cut out to accommodate that bolt. It was done also the same way on this right rocker. This iron also was cut out to accommodate this bolt. So that's not a big deal, it's unusual, but what stood out to me on both of these, these are shaped round and both of these are made square. So if this was original to the wood for these rockers, in my opinion and estimation, these would be square until this point down here where the rub irons would have stopped and we would have been shaped round only through this section. So that's telling me, again, that these are not original. Generally, a rub iron will be just a single plate with two bolts that hold it to the wood of the rocker without this top portion. So I'm thinking that that's probably what was original here. That rub iron would have been a flat piece of iron and it's designed to protect the leather of the thorough brace when the wheel turns and hits. It's just as a tire deflector to pre prevent the not only the wheel from turning too far, the axle turning too far, overturning this coach, but it also takes the wear of the wheel off of the leather thrill brace. There's no reason why it needs to be encapped like this. And the difference in the shape, these being square and these being initially rounded, makes me think these are not original. So I may have to modify these anyway because this undercarriage no longer has steel tires. It has rubber tires, so it needs to have a roller here to accommodate the rubber tire. Now the front part of these are also round ahead of this shaping, but that seems to fit the U-shaped iron that's designed to go around the thorough brace. These U-shaped irons are rounded on the top to accommodate the round top of the wood on top of these rockers. So all that seems to correlate correctly. If these were made originally to these, my guess is they would have been made round just like these thoroughbrace irons. So right now I'm gonna shape the wood on these rockers like the originals were. I have to modify these anyway to accommodate rubber tires. I'm not going to put these back on and at best I would take and cut these off like I think originally they would have been and somehow adapt a roller here. If I replaced it with a different iron I'd do the same 
So it's possible I'll just cut this off and use this portion and modify them. So with this wood shaped to fit the steel for this rocker, got the braces fitted in and this top board represents the framework that's gonna be on the body. And everything seems to be pretty well lined out. Now this I've got cut at 51 inches. I think it needs to be at 50. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other one, get it fitted up and put these side by side now since our holes are misaligned in a number of different ways, I'd like to line these up and I may end up trimming these, uh, maybe offset, I'm not really sure, but maybe I can use this extra inch to help align these two and compensate for these misaligned holes. So that's what I'm gonna do is fit the other rocker together and line these side by side first. So I have my second rocker built and they're both kind of pretty close to where they need to be. So I've lined them up side by side and the one point that has to be in relationship with each other is right here because these are the braces that go to the cross frames that support the floor. So these being parallel to the body, these have to be straight across from one another. So I do have a little variation on my ends here. And so with my 51 inches, I'm gonna be able to trim the front end of this wood piece and the back end of this and kind of make them look symmetrical. My center holes where they go through the leather are a little bit off and my ends are gonna be a little bit off. These aren't exactly the same, but the point that has to be the same is at this point. So that's what I'm gonna line up and I'll adjust everything else from there. So 
So these need to be countersunk head bolts and it looks like from what I can ascertain here that they drilled initially with a 1532 and then this is going to be a 5 16 bolt. So I'm going to take these carriage bolts and reform the heads to fit these holes in the irons on these rockers. So you can see that the bolt holes that correlate with the irons are not in line with each other. But the places where these braces are going to be are. And it's the same way on both ends of this rocker. The braces are going to be aligned, but the bolt holes are off. It's just the way it is. So when these are actually on the coach itself, being from right to left, opposite sides, You'll never see that discrepancy in the placements of these bolts, but where the braces have to fit up to those cross frames to the floorboard, they will actually be in their correct position. Now you remember this first one, this first iron that came off of the right side has a second tweak to it. I'm gonna have to straighten that. Now that I have the wood on that will hold that iron stable, I'm gonna go ahead and straighten that out next week. Anyway, appreciate you following along. Thanks for watching.